Hey, today is February 22nd. Been watching this uh, natural gas chart. As you can see, it's uh, making some new highs here, and I'm a little concerned about that. There is a level right here, but as far as that, it bounced off of it and it's uh, been continuously moving up. Anyway, as we get closer to the release time, it's currently uh, 16 after 10, so I guess we'll just keep watching it and see what happens here. Anyway, I can go ahead and set up my uh, clicks. I like to uh, try the straddle again as it worked out fairly well last time. Let's make sure everything else is correct here. One contract, quick click is set, trailing stop is set, idles clicked. Alright, everything looks good, so I'll be back with you guys about uh, 30 seconds before the release comes out. Alright, we are now about 40 seconds out. You can see the market did stop uh, and hit this level right here, and it turned around. Starting to see some uh, larger moves here. Had a nice spike down, don't necessarily like that either. Alright, we're at 30 seconds till the release. I'm going to place my order at 3.290 for the top. As I'm thinking, we're going to get a long trade here. But we'll see here shortly. Alright. 3.290. And... Alright, we did end up getting a long trade just as I thought we would. The biggest problem with my system seems to be that I get out much too quickly. I'm not even sure. Let me see here. I use my distance of a 3. Trigger of 2, stop loss of 4. Okay. Alright, let me go ahead and pause it and uh, put my numbers and everything on the charts and I'll be back with you guys shortly. Alright, I'm back. have a couple lines here. As you can see here, my first entry point was 3.256 and that's uh, down here. And this is actually the auto click that got me in at this point. I had placed my uh, bracket order up here. Well, I only actually placed one side of the bracket order because I was fairly certain it was going to be a long move and I didn't want to take it short because I saw this uh, move starting to push down but the second one entered me at 3.299 which is right here at this uh, level well just about this level it's actually at 3.288 but it's really annoying moving these little bars here we go let me go ahead and do this real quick alright so this is up at uh, the proper point now Alright, so I had my lines right here initially. I set it up to get me in at 3.290. And I'm I'm assuming that's where it actually got me in at. Because this was uh it had started to move over here, so I'm not sure if that was the actual point. So I can safely say that I did have a little bit of slippage here on the uh bracket order. So even on the uh demo accounts you do get slippage. And this is a I do have a live account with this company but this is a simulated live account that I'm actually trading on right now which is allowing me to use the uh, natural gas futures but anyway back to this as you can also note here that let me bring this other chart up one second here what's this level 3.255 alright this is a uh, fasteconomicnews.com if you check right here the market did spike down and once it turned for some reason I was able to get a really good fill because actually as you can see right here this is a 30 bar right here this is 830 and it's the same on this as you can see here this is 829 and I got filled actually on the 829 bar I guess in the uh, spike back up it just filled me right there at that point so that was a excellent fill for the spike trader but let me explain this also for the uh, bracket portion of it as you can see here I actually took a small loss on that one where is it at 3.295 and 3.299 so I took a small loss 
uh, about forty dollars in loss but as you can see here we'll go ahead and bring it up just to see I got filled right here and once I got filled the market came back down and it will have uh, taken out my stop it didn't matter if I used a three point stop or a five point stop as you can see either way it came down enough to take out anything just about any stop and there was a uh, it was only a three the deviation was only negative three so it wasn't necessarily a large trigger so I'm I'm okay with this trade if it was a larger trigger I would have expected a bigger move but that's pretty much what we have today hopefully next week will uh, give us something else but right now the auto click actually did very well if I would have just went with the bracket order I would have took a small loss on this but the auto click did uh, save the trade got me a great fill and allowed me to make a, a nice profit on it anyway that's it for now and I'll see you guys on the next one I think we got oil coming up here shortly yeah so I'm gonna try oil I'm not gonna straddle that one but I will go ahead and trade it with the auto click and hopefully that'll be up on the blog if it triggers be back with you guys shortly thanks